Hey everybody, it's Amworth here again. I have a bunch of updates to my station that I'd like to show you all. So let's go. I basically added a top floor. Um, allows it so you can stick the station on the ground and then have all the working stuff underneath. I think it looks pretty good, but I mean, I made it, so obviously I think it looks good. Uh, we got bathrooms here. Remember to wash your hands with soap before leaving. Alright, more seating. Uh, the walkway is down to the station. A back entrance. And you can see there's the original station there. You got ticket booths, manager's office. Alright. So, including the stuff I did up top, I changed a couple things down here. Um, first of all, I changed uh, the extra cart thing, and now you can take up to two to three carts. Uh, you can go in and break carts that get stuck up here, so you can even have more. Uh, there's a chest that you can stick extra carts into. And I moved the door from over there to here. So, same functionality. It's just moved. Alright, so for those of you the first time watching this, let's give a quick little demo. So we get six stations here. Um, you basically pick a torch or pick a destination and the torch has changed color. There's a longer delay now because I've had to move the redstone down and with the torch delays uh, it adds up over time but it still works it's just a little bit of a delay. So once you select your destination you come up here, step on this pressure plate a cart will come in and you hop into the cart and you're off. Now that chime sounding is for people that are next in line that are waiting to pick their destination. Uh, when that chime sounds, it's safe for them to pick their destination and get ready to uh, depart. So arrivals, you come into one of these four docks. Uh, all you have to do is push your cart back in and you're done. There's switching mechanisms here so that when a cart is here, it diverts to the next station or arrival dock. When all the arrival docks are full, it uh, loops around and comes back in. Uh, these switches again use the RS NOR latches and the D flip flops. So the RS NOR latches control the torches and the buttons, and then the outputs of the RS NOR latches are then wired into D flip flops that are only activated as a cart with the person leaves the station. Uh, if you have extra carts, or if you're running low of carts, you can drop them into here and they'll get added to the station. Just wait sure to make a few or wait a few seconds between adding carts. Otherwise boosters might not reset and you'll get issues. Uh if you have too many carts to the hopper, they're gonna start spilling out to here. You can just break them and stick them in the box. Uh the hopper holds six carts. Uh, you could expand it to more but uh take more height and it fits perfectly with six with everything else so I uh, just use six. I also had some issues with using seven and eight cart hoppers uh, sometimes the carts would glitch and stick to each other and then you'd have a double cart um, so I found six was the most reliable at least between six, seven, and eight. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to explore some more I suggest you download the map off the forums. I'll have a link. Um, if you have any ideas or suggestions or wondering how I did something or anything, don't be afraid to email me at morth at gmail .com. Otherwise, that's it. Alright, have a great day.